Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at how to run Star Wars Battlefront on a laptop with NVIDIA Optimus based graphics, which is the switchable Intel and NVIDIA graphics, uh, which for whatever reason is hanging on the start screen of the game and not progressing when you touch the keyboard and mouse. I'd had this on one or two laptops which I've been testing with and I found that the solution is through the Optimus control panel. So we saw when we launched the game, because it's detecting both the Intel and Nvidia drivers, despite the fact the Intel drivers are up to date, it says they are out of date. And now when we launch it, even when I'm clicking the mouse here, we can see, and if I press enter, the game doesn't start. So we can't play it. We can actually if we plug in a controller, but if you're playing on the PC, you probably want to be playing with keyboard and mouse rather than the control pad. So we are going to use the Windows D key to get out the game and close window to kill it. It will crash when we do that. So what we're going to do is click on the desktop and load NVIDIA control panel. And what we need to do is go to manage 3D settings and the preferred graphics processor we are going to change from auto select to high performance NVIDIA processor. We hit apply on this and that is now done and now if we launch the title we will see it detects from the get-go that it's using the NVIDIA chip and therefore doesn't give us that incorrect driver message. And now the game will load up and we can carry on into play the game. I hope you found this video useful. Um, be sure to subscribe if you want to stay in touch with what we're doing and we're running Star Wars Battlefront on various different laptop configurations. Thanks for watching.